the best way for you to learn is you got to do it yourself, and we'll walk you through it. So you want to get straps? I'm sorry, Dad. you So when you look at your straps, how you know how you set this up, right? You got two ends here. We want to go with the longest end with no no hooks on it. That's going to be our tree side. So this is the side we'll wrap around the tree. So when you do it, you're going to go around the tree. You're going to fit through like that, and you're going to pull it tight, okay? I do what whiskey here does is I always set up around my eyebrow height to start with and we'll adjust everything once we get everything set up so you're gonna get your other strap out of your bag all right this you're gonna do the same thing this on the bigger tree so you're probably not gonna be able to reach around so let me have one in I'll bring this around to you. This goes to that too. Nope, other one, other one. Yeah, what you're doing there. You should. You don't have to have it, but. You gotta be able to get enough slack in here to feed it up into that hole real quick. Well, you ain't covering the hammock. I'm past my black buckle. I got a little bit of hand hanging out this way. All right. She will not let you go to bed. Alright, we said take the corners down. Person ten or two persons? One. They say it's one, but if you're smaller. Like yeah, I should have worn P after I asked. This stuff y'all was sitting on before. Yeah. The stars. Did you say it's not gonna snow? I enjoy it because I know from meeting you, you're just going to be a good guy. Hang on. Line. <laughs> good job right there. Lift it up. Look what? The whole thing. Pick it up. No, wait here. Pick it up. Pick it up. Stomp on it. Yeah, you're not here until you get there. There you go. Chopped your log. So whiskey this week is uh, sleeping here in a tent. Y'all have seen this on the channel before. Matt's got his hammock over here. 
And then Mason's got his hammock over here. So I brought these guys to the same spot I brought Chris and Chad in that one video where I was there, Chris was there, and Chad's there. Well, that's meet Matt and Mason. What do you think so far, buddy? I like it. You like it? It's still early in the day, Matt, but what's your impression so far, brother? Definitely the peace you need in life. I'm telling you, I can't find nowhere better almost. Nice. Oh, the creek sounds good. The, just the scenery's perfect. It's what we needed. Cool, cool. So, folks, I told you all last week I was bringing out some viewers, and there, there they are. Brought them back to the same spot, like I said before, that Chris and uh, I brought Chris to, and Chris's brother, Chad. It's a good spot because the water stays good all um, year round. It doesn't dry up. Just changed up the sleeping a little bit. Still pretty early in the day. It's um, just, I think, just past two o'clock in the afternoon. Doesn't get dark until around 8 30, 9 o'clock. So we're going to hang around, listen to music, and just chillax for a little bit. We'll holler at y'all later. Yeah, split, yeah, like your dad said. Use the one you just threw to hold that one up and then split that fresh one. You got that one log opened up enough for the fire. There you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these little twigs on top of the cotton. I think that's a, just a little twig there. We don't want to drown it. We just want enough so we can start getting something that's gonna catch a flame. And this won't go out as long as we do what we're supposed to do with it. That small stuff first. So we get it to catch. And then this is where the blow stick will come in too. Here in a little bit. Once we get this built up a little bit more. As you all can hear, we're getting hit with a thunderstorm right now. 
And now we're hiding underneath the rain fly eating our dinner. Hopefully this passes over. And it doesn't turn into an all night event. on thunderstorms unexpected thunderstorms at that our fires out for the second time it's about 11 o'clock I believe p.m. 1102 yep 1102 We had a pretty good storm come through here so far. It was definitely exactly what we needed for the peaceful night. We've been under this tent for about an hour. Yeah, a good hour, almost two hours. Having some good conversations and enjoying the peacefulness. Y'all noticed yet? I shaved whiskey, shaved his beard off. I about freaked my wife out when I come out of the bathroom. It was gone. I had, it was about down to here. It felt like a new damn man, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually trying to trim it straight and make it cleaner looking. I messed up. Y'all hear that thunder? <laughs> this is what we've been dealing with. This is completely unexpected. When I looked at my weather bug before I left the house, it was zero rain until Tuesday. And these guys were telling me that they were seeing chances of rain. I thought, there's no way. Oh, yeah. We've had some thunderstorms. It was perfect. It's like 11 o'clock, and we still got good rain going. Mason back there, a little worried, because this is his first time out in the hammock, out in the nature. But he's going to fall in love with it like the rest of us. His first... Uh, rain camp first wilderness camp this is a great experience for him yeah i'm, I'm happy i'm definitely happy with it he's, he's gonna peek his head out of camp. i ain't gonna lie folks if i didn't know it was gonna rain i would have brought my hammock instead of my tent so i could be off the ground but Let me see that. i'll make do he peeked his head out he wants to be seen over here there he is he said it's bedtime but we're here <laughs> <laughs> Chilling back there in the hammock. Zip it up for the night. Ain't no bugs gonna get nobody. We're just gonna listen to the storm and enjoy it. <laughs> That's good. Definitely. Yeah. We've been hanging out underneath the rain fly here, just you know, shooting the shit. Sharing stories, doing shit like that, you know. Ain't much you can do when it's been thunderstorming. We had a loud crack behind us. We had something hit as far as lightning goes. Probably about a half hour ago. And it died off and we got another fire going and now it's picked back up again. Now it looks like it's going to last until about 2 o'clock in the morning. Which is fine by us. I don't think I can sleep any better.
<laughs> well, you know what we can do about it. We're it took us an hour to hike in. We're two miles in, so it ain't like we can just up and leave. And if we do, we're gonna get wet. But <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get real wet. So we're gonna hunker down for the night. I'm giving up on the fire situation because I'm not going to restart a fire 60 times tonight. Two times is enough. Yep. <laughs> Folks, that's that's how our night's going to end. It's, it should be clear by tomorrow so we don't have to worry about hiking out in it tomorrow. But if we do, we do. It is what it is. Hoping we get some good lightning so I can get some good light shows. Let's listen to that ring, people. What's up everybody? So I'm in my uh, tent for the night, laying down, relaxing. The guys are in their hammocks. It's about 12.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's still raining pretty good. We're having some pretty good thunder. This is a pr pretty nice, especially for me, because it's totally unexpected to have this thunderstorm. I really, Everything I read and looked at before I w left on this trip, it, we weren't expecting any bad weather until like Tuesday of next week. So nothing during this trip. And then for this thunderstorm to roll in, this is a nice treat and experience for them guys because they've never camped in a storm before, especially out in the bush. So this is unique, pretty cool experience for them. Well, folks, I'm going to bed. I'm going to fall asleep listening to the storm. And uh, we'll catch y'all in the morning. I guess we'll find out if the rain's going to blow off overnight or if we're going to wake up and have to hike out in it. But either way, we'll find out tomorrow together. Appreciate everybody watching and hanging out with us. We'll talk to everybody in the a.m. Good morning everybody so i slept pretty good in that thunderstorm i know i was up past two o'clock last night i know the rain stayed past 2 30 in the morning <laughs> but i slept like a champ it's actually after 8 30 a.m so i slept in should have been up a, probably over an hour ago so we could already had coffee and already almost be broke down so it looks like mama bear is going to be waiting on us in the parking lot today which is awesome because i don't have to wait on her all right, Mason, man, how would you think of your first bush camp with a thunderstorm, man? It was kind of good. I just didn't like the rain. They like the rain? Don't let your hand get wet. That's how we get close to bug net. He was just telling me a little bit ago, we didn't zip one side of his bug net down. So in the middle of the night, he felt water just pouring all down his hammock on him and stuff. And he got just a little wet and probably a little cold. But yeah, if I think if I tough for now. I think if I did do it over again, I'd probably set that rain fly up in a diamond formation, which would give you guys more coverage over there. So 
Matt here forgot a rain fly, so we ended up having to move his hammock underneath onto the same two trees as his son Mason here. And they had to do head to, or foot to foot or head a head away from each other and use the same two trees to stay dry. Because again, we were not expecting this thunderstorm that came in last night. Matt, man, what'd you think of your first true bush and thunderstorm camping, bro? Just about everything I could imagine for sure. Uh, the, the rain was the added elements that I personally wanted. Uh, I like the extra stuff because it's just something different, I guess you could say more or less. Um, it was definitely peaceful. Definitely peaceful. I slept. I slept good. Maybe maybe woke up a little uncomfortable, but just had to readjust and, and situated myself. Burnt your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I bet you both would have slept more comfortable if we actually kept you separated. But yeah. There's no way if the amount of rain we got last night you would have made it all the way through the night. Uh, I would have made it. <laughs> I'd have just been uncomfortable. It, yeah, miserable. <laughs> miserable. Probably would have drowned. He would have been miserable. I know how to swim. Yeah, I heard something. Did you guys hear something crash back here last night? Yeah. Almost around 3 o'clock, I'd say. Yeah, it sounded like something about... big fell out of the trees across the creek. Yeah. I know I got up around probably about 3 o'clock and got out in the rain to go pee. And as soon as I laid back down, I heard something huge crash over there. Yeah, I did too. I wasn't even asleep. Yeah. I was just looking straight up in the air trying to fall asleep. Yeah, I was out like, why? And then yeah, I, I thought at some point I heard you snoring or somebody snoring yeah, for, it was probably probably me. for a couple minutes. Yeah, it's probably me. Yeah. I think I might have had a little deep sleep. <laughs> Just a little deep sleep. Like, I heard you, like I said, last night I heard a little bit of something, so I cracked the door and peeked out, and I seen you above him with your headlamp on, so. Yeah. But I didn't, when you asked me earlier, I didn't, nobody woke me up. I didn't get woke up because of crying or nothing, so. Yeah. He, he was already awake. Whenever I woke up, he was sit, sitting there crying like crazy. <laughs> I was on the floor. He, he rolled out of his hammock. Yeah. <laughs> he I was didn't notice. He was laying on top of his uh, uh, sleeping <coughs> bag in the ground. So I got up, helped him get back in there. I had to help him get tucked into his sleeping bag real good and get a situation. Move over this way, buddy, so you're not blocking the camera. And um, I guess once he got situated and was in there more comfortably, it helped him out. He didn't roll and adjust as much because... <laughs> it been funny, you said his hammock's a single? Yeah. yeah I'd definitely. probably upgrade him to a double yeah, then. Definitely. Yeah, definitely do that. Like I said, when I get home and we got service again, I'll send you some links to all the gear, my hammock gear. You shop on Amazon? Now, yeah. Mama? I'll send you a link to everything I got as far as the hammock set up. And then that way you have something, at bare minimum, to reference. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I appreciate your whiskey. It's definitely, definitely enjoyable. Looking forward to more adventures. See if I can get him ready for him to be 13 now. No. Him and Al Hunter is going to make it out here by their cell. Right here? Right yeah. in the woods. Okay. Somewhere in the woods. Might drop you off in Africa. No. You're going to like her when you meet her. She's going to eat you up, little man. No, I do not want to go to Africa. I don't really like all them fast all fat animals. <laughs> I only like the cheetahs. If they have tigers, then I like them more. Well, yeah. Folks, we're going to sit here and drink our coffee. And then I got to kind of do a speed takedown so we can get out of here. Um, we'll probably bring you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to show breakdown. If I do, it'll be in time lapse. Um, most likely, I won't on this trip. And we'll just bring you guys back on our hike out to do a final flight like we always do. But we're going to sit here, enjoy the coffee, and, you know, do the thing in the morning and then get out of here. Appreciate everybody watching. All of our Patreon supporters, Matthew B., Stephen R., and Mark K., as always, greatly appreciate the support you guys show. Um, uh, Chris and Chad, like I said earlier in the video or last night or whatever, the uh, PayPal donate or, sorry, Cash App donation you guys gave uh, two weeks ago. I already gave you a shout out in last week's video, but because of the size of the donation, I want to give you another shout out. Greatly appreciate that, guys. You didn't have to do that, but you did it anyway. So it's it doesn't go unnoticed and it's appreciated. And Chris, hopefully we can link up next week and uh, get something planned. But folks, we're going to enjoy our coffee. We'll tune in with you all to show you camps cleaned up and then for the hike out of here. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother.
Peace. Whiskey. All right, folks. Right there is where I was set up at. As you can see, it's just a dry spot, and then the gear is going on my back. We had a hammock over here. It's all cleaned up. And then the dry spot where the hammock with the rain flies right here, and you can see they have everything on, so everything's cleaned up. And he's getting his last piece of cordage off the tree now. All right, so I'm gonna get my pack on my back, and then we'll, uh, we're gonna get across this river, and then I'll bring y'all back for the final thought on our hike out of here. But I'm already running an hour late. I'm actually supposed to, we're already supposed to be out of the woods by now. So Mama Bear's up there waiting. I have no service, so I can't send her a message. So we're gonna get everything on and start beating feet and work our way to the uh, trailhead. So I'll hit y'all up on the trail for final thought. All right, folks, so we're out of the bush and on the uh, main hiking trail now, working our way back. We got a solid two miles to go to get there, but uh, it's easier hike back than it was here because instead of going up hills, we'll be going down hills. So that's pretty nice. Had an awesome time out here. I can't complain at all. Um, a nice rain thunderstorm rolled in on us, which was not expected by me whatsoever. So that was a nice little treat. Made me sleep in actually, but had a good time. Um, I look forward to coming out again with uh, Matt and Mason. Had a great time with these guys. They're right in front of me there on the trail. Want to say goodbye, Mason? Bye. Matt? See y'all next time. Appreciate you guys coming out with me. All right, folks. So I'm not 100% sure what I got going on next weekend. I'm supposed to be going out, potentially going out with Chris and maybe Chad. Um, but that hasn't been locked in yet. We're trying to still uh, juggle the schedules around to make it work. Um, so Whiskey is going like he normally does and does not know what he's going to get into. So I guess next week you just have to wait and see. Um, appreciate everybody watching. Sorry, I'm winded already. You guys already know how we do it? Yeah, it does. Y'all already know how we do it. Holla at your boy. See y'all next time.